a bitch and throwing fits and always raging wars. Me and you is ever true and not a say more. But there's still one thing we're good for. Ronnie James Dio, uh, Black Sabbath, and uh, Cinderella. I don't know. I just I always I look back on that, you know, the old footage and everything from just old concerts, and it just I don't know. It, it, there's there's a, a, a magic to it. Well, my my parents were definitely uh, very much into rock music. I think that they um, they they were happy that I was into it as well, and <laughs> um, I got influenced by a lot of my parents' music. My dad's. Um, a bass player, so there was always instruments around. I don't know, but well, yeah, they were, my parents were rock and rollers. Fans, right? They yeah, they had uh, you know they just had cl classic rock around Zeppelin, and I remember hearing a lot of Van Morrison growing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. My dad loves him, and uh, uh -uh. just anything from that era, really. I remember your dad trying to convince us to like Allman Brothers. Allman Brothers, yeah. What do you think? Ten years, twenty years from now, we'll probably just be playing music. We'll still be playing, yeah. I don't. <laughs> I don't think we can stop. That's the uh, we, plan. We've, we've tried. You know, we've yeah. tried to like, you know, have a significant amount of time off, and then you start getting that itch. You know, like we need to do a live show. So I, we're definitely still going to be touring um, in five, ten, twenty years. You know. Yeah, for touring, or even if it's just playing the neighborhood bar. Right. <laughs> we'll be playing. This is the last night of our tour. And it is also Joe Hottinger's birthday. So. Can you say happy birthday? Can you say I love you, Joe? Tough nut to crack. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I actually didn't see the ceremony this year. I saw bits and pieces afterward, but yeah. we were we were in a in a we were, were in a we? bus. We're in going no, through England. No, I don't know where we were. We didn't have any service, so. But, um, <laughs> but no, it, it was interesting to see who won. I'm I'm glad everyone who wins wins. I was, you know, you never know how it's gonna go. It was neat that Seven Dust got their nomination, mm -hmm. and and we were pulling for them, and. Also in the same category, there's some hometown guys, August Burns Red. Mm -hmm. It's cool that they got nominated, but um, you know, we know the ghost guys, they're nice and we're happy for them. And uh, you know, it's a little, I really like Alabama Shakes. I think they have such a cool record and it's just strange that they, get, you know, they won an all best alternative record and didn't they win like best rock song too. And, to me, they're more of an alternative band. It's a great record. I love it. But it, it'd be cool getting, to see hard rock a little more represented in I, rock. I think it's getting harder and harder to categorize anything anymore. Um, just just because everything is there's so much out there and it's so broad. If you say rock music, it's so all over the place, you know. And um, same thing with metal. Same thing. Um, depending on your spectrum of of heaviness and your opinion of it, it's it's getting harder and harder to categorize. So. Um, just coming, coming from people, like we, we know a lot of the people at, at the uh, academy now and it just, it must be such a hard yeah. job to try to, 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 to try to narrow all of that down and, and choose the best one. It's, um, yeah. yeah.
So yeah, there's always there's always things that like you you personally are like, oh, I would have voted for that. I would have done that. I would have, you know, but you know, <laughs> at the end of the day, it, it is what it is. It, it the, wasn't connected to the, the movie. The title Into the Wildlife was not connected to Into the Wild, the movie. Though it is a great movie a good with a fantastic soundtrack that Eddie Vedder did. But um, yeah, no, the Into the Wildlife is more just like us getting crazy. We're, you know, we, we've had far too much fun yeah, we've this been, past year. <laughs> we've been getting into it and we knew we would be. And just going into our third record, we knew we were going to keep up living like we do on the road <laughs> and that it was just just almost just beginning you know if you think about it this way there's been so many dreams that have come true for us and you know we're we're on our third you know record on a major label we won a grammy we've toured the world you know at, at and we've gets to play, get to play live rock shows as a career now and with your best friends so yeah we've been having far too much fun and that's what the, uh, the album title was inspired by.